Hi there, it's Josh Goldback here for Wholesale Suite and today I'm back with a tutorial to show you how to bulk set wholesale prices across all of the variations of a variable product at once in WooCommerce. So um, sometimes when you have a, a variable product, it can have a lot of variations, especially they, they add up very quickly. Like for example, if you have a t-shirt and it's available in four colors and then you've got another three sizes on top of that, um, you know, you're already up to 12 variations and managing the wholesale pricing across those variations can be a bit of a pain in the neck. So uh, what we did in um, wholesale prices is we introduced a feature called bulk editing. Now I'm gonna show you here on my demo site. I'm just on a uh, wholesale suite demo site. If uh, you wanna know more about wholesale suite um, and in particular wholesale pricing and prices premium, go to wholesalesuiteplugin.com and you'll be able to learn all about that. Um, but what it does essentially is when you go into a product edit screen, you'll see these extra pricing fields, especially for um, extra wholesale pricing fields. So I'll just go into variations here and I'll open up one of the variations. So I've got a t-shirt here, this is just a standard t-shirt and it's sold in a blue, size, a blue color with large size. So for this individual variation, we've got the regular price of $20 and say if I wanted to come and set wholesale pricing for that particular product, I might come in here and set uh, wholesale pricing at $10. And then uh, for all of the other variations, you can see I've got quite a lot of uh, lot of variations here. It's um, you know 12 in total. It's it's going to take me you know probably a couple of minutes to go through each of each of those and um, set them up. So here's how you do it in one quick hit. At the top of the variations tab here, you'll see this little drop down, and what this has is all of the different bulk operations that you can do. So um, when you, let me just scroll my screen down here so you can see the whole drop down. If you scroll down to the bottom there, you'll see one called set wholesale prices. Now this is per wholesale role and uh, we're, wholesale suite comes with one, uh, one user role, but you can actually add multiple user roles. So you will see this multiple times if you have multiple user roles for your wholesale customers. But let's just click on this one here and when you hit go, you'll end up with a little box asking you to enter a value and that's the value for the pricing. So if I put $10 in there and we go ahead and apply that, there we go. So now what we can see if we open up all of the other variations, oops, there we go, let's just expand them all. You can see wholesale pricing has been set across all of the variations. Now let's go and uh, just check this on the on the front end. I'm going to save this product here, um, even though that should have saved on the variations tab as well. I'll just save it again, just in case. And I'm going to switch over to the front end of the site now, and I'm going to show you how the wholesale pricing works for that product. Okay, so I'm on the front end of the site here and I'm just using an incognito window, which is like a private browsing window, just to give me a fresh session for this uh, this demo site. And I've logged in as a wholesale test user. And this is a user that I know has the correct wholesale customer role, so they should be able to see the wholesale pricing that I've defined for that particular product. So let's go over to the t-shirt category and we'll find that product that we we're working on. Here we go, so standard t-shirt. You can already see wholesale price there in the uh, in the listing, but let's go and have a look at the actual options. And let's select our color. So if I want a blue t-shirt in a medium size, we can see that the wholesale pricing has been applied for this customer. So that's how you bulk set your wholesale price on a WooCommerce store uh, with Wholesale Suite and the Wholesale Prices plugin and um, box setting it across all of your variations of variable products.